everybody! Oh, I'm so excited to see you again! Woo! Wait, my computer just turned uh, dark. <laughs> so, da -da 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 -da. Did you see? I just received my new MacBook Pro, which is why you have a video earlier than expected. And today, I'm going to share with you how much I earned in detail during my first month on OnlyFans, so uh, last September and how I did to reach my first month goal on OnlyFans with almost no means of promotion since uh, my magnificent MacBook Pro, not this one, but the previous one, crashed halfway through the month and I only had my iPad, which is somewhere here. Um, so it's just below the light. <laughs> and my iPhone on which I film that is broken or so by the way, but I will be replacing it um, normally this November uh, when I will go back to Paris for a week. So yeah, I'm super excited. I will also give you advices if you are a non-US citizen uh, in order to be monetized sooner and to avoid basically making the mistake I did. Well, it was not a mistake, but you want to understand soon enough. Woohoo! Let's start! So hi, I'm Titi. I live in Paris, but due to the pandemic, I moved to Brittany. And uh, right now, I'm going to tell you how long of a road it was for me to be verified on OnlyFans. <laughs> so long story short, I live in Paris. So basically, my passport is in Paris. And since I moved due to the pandemic to beautiful Brittany, I didn't bring it with me since it's the same country. Ooh. I only took the French national ID. So since OnlyFans requested us to show, to take a picture of our governmental ID and to take another one of us holding it, I did this once, I got refused. I thought maybe it was my hairstyle, it didn't look like the picture, so I took another one. I was like, why not? with the same national ID since I only had this and my expired drive, US driving license, which I couldn't use because it was expired, okay? They refused me. So at the end of uh, multiple trial, trials and failures, I contacted them again and again and again without any answers. But after 1.5 to 2 months, I got one and they finally uh, they understood the situation and they verified my account. So my advice for non-US citizen is to bring your passport, okay? Show them the picture of your passport, take your passport, hold it and take a picture of it, of you holding it. Do not take your national, uh, any other national ID, uh, governmental ID, no, 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 your passport because OnlyFans is a US-based company and the verifying, <laughs> the verifying company they use to verify uh, your age, um, yeah, your birthday, uh, where you live it's, uh, and so forth, is also American. So the only governmental IDs that they know is the driving license and the passport. But in my country, a driving license can be um, taken as a you know, governmental ID. So you need to show your passport and that's it. You show your passport. <laughs> Don't even bother. Also, if you are new to OnlyFans, go to my blog, I will explain everything. Right now I'm looking at my computer too because I have all of my notes over there and it's so detailed, oh my gosh. If we go through all of this, it might take an eternity. So. I will try to be as detailed as possible, but um, yeah, I, I will let you go through the graphs and so forth you know, on my blog. I will also put them on the screen sometimes. Um, so yeah, if you are new to OnlyFans, just go uh, to the link below, follow the instruction, and that's it. Show your passport and you will be done. You will be able to be monetized in no time. Otherwise, know that there are uh, so popular right now since it's the pandemic, people are locked down either in their country, <laughs> their city, and maybe their, even their apartments or their houses, so in order not to go crazy and to do something of their lives, they decided to go to OnlyFans. 
<laughs> okay, no, I'm just kidding. You can start uh, any uh, online businesses. It's uh, you don't need any fans, but if you want, it's good for you, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the profile pictures and the account art. What I what I call the account art, but it's actually the banner. <laughs> so this one is going to be very easy. For the profile picture, I just showed something. I was like this profile. No, I don't even remember how I was like this. Yeah, so it was like sensual. I was in white. It was uh, lovely. And as far as the banner is concerned, it was more <laughs> describing what I was doing in it. And the question, that I didn't even answer to you right now is what the heck am I doing on our fans? I'm so sick. I'm sorry. Uh, as some of you know, I'm sick again. It's only the second time. This one is, uh, this time is better. It's just um, pretty bad though. It's okay, I didn't have the, um, too much crazy temperature for too long, so it's okay. It's barely one day. Uh, and she uh, went to the nursery, so um, she brought with her some viruses. <coughs> some uh, virus. So, I'm revitalized with the water. Crystalline. Okay, <laughs> product placement. Oh yeah. Okay, so what was I even saying? I was talking about the account art, I think. So for the banner, I was, oh yeah, what the heck am I doing? Okay, so I'm just doing uh, what I love, which is being in lingerie. <laughs> and no, you don't need a man to be in lingerie. I've always been attracted to lingerie. And I think when you are with a man, well, it's even better, spicier. Uh, it enables you to be whatever the heck you want. You know, you can be in a costume lingerie or just lingerie, sexy lingerie. Uh, and it's so lovely. But, you know, with my ex, I had the time to wear them. But with Jesse's father, I didn't even have the time to wear it, that I was already without it. So, yeah. Um, I don't even know why, why I'm saying that. Okay. I'm doing lingerie and less sometimes. No, actually, not sometimes a lot. Um, it just depends on what you are comfortable with. And I'm comfortable with uh, showing when it's, you know, underneath the lingerie, but when, as soon as it's out the lingerie, I might charge a little bit more for that. So um, it just depends, you know? It also depends on fans requests. Um, so right now, right now, right now, <laughs> on October, I mean, at the time of filming the video, when my fans request something, I give it to them and I don't charge them for the, the extra request, okay? It might change, but the, because this is the beginning and because I want to say, Thank you to my fans for following me at the thank beginning you, thank you, thank you. of this thank new adventure. You. I wanted to give some, give them something, you know. So if they request me um, to do something with another lingerie or with one lingerie I ha I got or uh, change the pace and so forth, I will do it for them. Yeah, depending on what they ask, <laughs> if it's Tinati or not. Okay. Oh, but obviously, you don't have to be naked to make money. It's just um, you might make a lot more. But again, it depends on how comfortable you are. Uh, I know at the beginning I was not that comfortable, but as um, as time goes by and as um, I'm more on this platform and work more towards this content, I feel more comfortable with my body as well and I also see like other girls do much more you know so I I feel comfortable 
with uh, doing what I do and I love it because you know I took so many pictures and we're going to come to it but I took so many pictures <coughs> it actually helped me for my Instagram because I knew the angles and so forth that were the most appealing and so for editing the uh, pictures and so forth so yeah it's very exciting uh, the three. Now we are going to talk about subscription price and bundles. Remember, I say you need to be comfortable with your body, uh, with what you are doing online, because your content might get stolen and leaked on the net. It happened already. But please know that if you are stealing content from a content creator from OnlyFans, mm -mm, there will be huge repercussions. Don't do this. You might get sued, okay? Actually, you will be sued. Uh, you will be sued first uh, through OnlyFans. So OnlyFans have lawyers and they will sue the person who uh, put the content of the creators online. And then on top of that, you might also get sued by the lawyer of the content creator. So don't mess around, okay? Be respectful. Okay, okay. <laughs> So yeah, choose your the price you're comfortable with, okay? For me, I used to, my, my fans know that my price was much higher than what it is now, which is $29.99 without tax, because on Patreon it was the price that I entered was not including the, the taxes. So they had to pay taxes on top of it. And it's much less expensive. We have a lot more interaction that we did with Patreon. Uh, I, I love this website so much more. And yeah, I upload more content. It's just better overall, right? And sometimes I have just casual conversation with my fans. And they would tell me good night and so forth. At the end, it's so cute, so cute. And they are very... Uh, a very caring and sometimes they were like mm, isn't it a little bit too late you should be good to bed and so forth and, oh my gosh so cute um they, they are very lovely I, i'm uh, lucky and yeah so i'm doing a lingerie we said blah blah uh, i prefer bundles because i just started so i wanted to kind of promote myself and that's why i created bundles <coughs> My gosh, I didn't want to cough so much during the video. I'm sorry. So, we have 10% off for 3 months, 20% off for 6 months, and 35% off for 12 months. The, those are just for me, my bundle. Uh, obviously, the price you will try, you will go with, it's anywhere from $5 up. Just choose the price that you seem right to you. Uh, you have also to keep in mind that, you know, do you have an audience? Uh, is it big? Is it small? Are they willing to pay your price? All of this depends. For me, I don't want uh, tons of tons of people on my uh, on my account. I want to be able to kind of control it, to feel in control. And I would rather put it higher so people will pay for it and there will be, uh, there would not be freebies. People who want everything for free and so forth, I don't like this. So they know that it's $29.99 and uh, that they have the content that goes with it, you know. That's, I want serious people. So that's what I do. But I would, I, I would always try my best, you know, to, to feel the needs of uh, a larger audience, <laughs> of course. And yeah, so there are so 0% per month uh, per referrals for the people who refer me to other people. We will see that later on in the... Um, in my notes, uh, I will tell you more about it. Four, promotion. So we were talking about the bundle promotion, the referral promotion. Now I will tell you also how I, how else I promoted my account. No, I didn't do Reddit. No, I didn't do all of the other thing. I did Instagram and I did YouTube. 
Now you have to keep in mind that my computer, as you already know by now, if you watch the beginning of the video, my computer crashed halfway through the month, which means on September 15 and up until like yesterday or the day before, I didn't have any computer. I only had my iPad, which, well, you can't see now, but it's just below uh, my light. <laughs> I just didn't find my light, so I took my makeup light. And my iPhone. <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, promoted through my Instagram stories. I was posting teasing pictures with links. Swipe up, <laughs> as I said. And uh, then I was putting this into highlights on Instagram so you can still see them. I didn't, you know, change anything. Uh, then I, what did I do? <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> Mon Dieu. <sighs> Can't wait for it to be done. I just have a dry cough right now. <clears throat> but then she has a runny noise, nose. Anyway, so I put a link on all, almost all of my YouTube videos. That's when I had my computer, remember? The first two weeks of September, I did that. It was such a fun part. <laughs> So uh, as you can see on the top of my videos, I have like OnlyFans updates, I am OnlyFans, you can watch me on blah blah blah, whatever. So that's what I did. I didn't promote it that much and still I was able to reach my goal. <laughs> With 28,200 YouTube subscribers, which is my main channel. So right now I have above 40,000 subscribers since I grew significantly in a one week on October and I keep on growing right now but sm uh, smaller, you know, because I was not able to upload other videos since I didn't have my Mac to edit or <coughs> do anything, so yeah. Mm. I'm I had 28,200 subscribers at the time. It was not moving that much. There was not that much traffic, right? So, yeah, I was just lucky. As I wrote, I couldn't promote it on my YouTube channel, the social media on which I had. For oh, what did I say? I have the most subs. Yeah. Because my Mac crashed halfway through. Mon blah, 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 blah. Uh, whatever. Five. Posting. So what I didn't tell you is that I wanted to be on OnlyFans on July 2020, but they didn't verify my account until end of August. And in the meantime, I really wanted to upload to start building my portfolio because I didn't want to start my OnlyFans account with zero pictures, right? Who would even go on this apart from my fan who did? <laughs> Anyway, uh, I was therefore able to build 41 posts, so there were 72 pics and 5 videos. I uploaded all of them, and it took quite some time, okay? I uploaded all of them on September 1, 2020 at midnight. <laughs> French time. French time. So that's what I did. Um, from then, I posted once a day until September 6th, on September 6th, 6th. <laughs> and um, between September 24 to 27, I was posting twice a day, otherwise in, the mid, uh, in between I was posting once a day, and from September 28 to now, I posted three times a day, because I really wanted to build this book for you, and to have pictures and videos for you to enjoy. Um, that was also because I didn't have my YouTube channels, and because channels, mm, what is coming next? Uh, you'll see that in the next video. <laughs> you, will, you will see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I I didn't have any really other things to take care of. I couldn't take care of my blog. I couldn't take care of anything else. So I did take care of my OnlyFans and it was cool. Mm -hmm. 
I really uh, enjoyed it. But right now I will not post as much, obviously. I will post once or twice a day, starting November maybe, I don't know. Um, but it would be, of course, at least once a day. Uh, I want to keep this interaction with my fans uh, and frankly, I think it would be more like twice, two, three times a day. It just depends on the inspiration. <laughs> okay, uh, now they will think I smoke some weed. So um, then I sent nine DMs to all of my fans as well. So what you need to know is that on any fans you can post on your feed pictures of you, uh, videos of you, and this would be like your Instagram. Okay, so except that it will be vertical. You would put a post here, then a video, then you will you will be able to schedule everything around you. I love this option. Um, and yeah, you will be able to do all of this and then parallel in parallel you will be able to send DMs when they pay for you for them to watch a video of you. And that might be a little bit more hot and a little bit more sexy. And yeah. So uh, I did nine of them. And basically when I had new fans, I would send them a welcome uh, emails with all the videos they missed. I would not be able to do that much anymore because there are so many. I will find a way for you to get still access to them. You will have the DM dates also on my blog, so just go on the blog and see the details, okay? If you really want to do this analysis. Oh, and also, here comes the fun part. And then afterwards, I will share with you my earnings. Bring a pen and a pencil and take notes in this video because it's really important. The subscription counts. Who said and who turned Rebuild on? I had five early fans who found my account when I didn't even know I was monetized. I don't know how they did, but I had five. And from the five that uh, found my account when it was free, two of them stayed until now, so until October. Here, uh, I also have on my blog all the dates with the subs uh, that I earned during that, that day. Um, and so the subs who stayed for the second month. So everything is written and how many had rebuilt on, rebuild turned on. So total, I gained 35 fans, 24 stayed for October and 13 had rebuilt turned on which is pretty cool. I also had 11 referrals, so I will show you the dates uh, there on my blog. Uh, and basically it means, uh, so I already told you what it means, uh, they refer a person to my account and they have free sub, a free subscription. However, none of them spend anything on the, you know, on me. So um, they just browse, through the free content and I'm not sure I will leave that this option um, here so if you want to have it if you want to refer someone to my account now just do it because I'm not sure you will be able to do it on November <laughs> then your news the reason why you are on the video right <laughs> okay so on the screen I don't know if I should Go more on the right, yeah, to the right. So on the screen, you can see that I was 4.2% uh, of all creators on October 1, 2020. Uh, I started earning 23.99 on August 28 because it was the price of the subscription. So when you when you are on OmniFans, you have 80% of the earnings. Something to keep in mind. So out of the $29.99, I got $23.99. And the rest is to only fans because obviously they uh, give you access to their audience. Um, they host your content. I mean, it's, it costs a lot of money. So um, yeah, you pay them, but you only pay them when you earn something. So it's uh, really nice. 
As you can see also, I got almost half of my earnings in subscription and the other half in DMs. So if you have, which was my case too, a fan that explained to you how business works and how you should have everything for free, the answer is, I don't think so, sir. Okay? Because business is what I do. And you will see also um, that is true for the other content creator. You earn a lot through DM, so never stop and just do what seems right to you. You always put, <coughs> sorry, you put request content uh, into the DMs. You can put uh, something that is hotter and so that you want maybe less people to have access to, uh, to the content. So yeah, just do this. And out of this, I got $1,262, so $1,262 through SEPA, which is the international transfer payment. I didn't get the totality because I had to wait seven days before my payouts or when were transferred to my bank account. And therefore I will receive this amount, the, the rest, I, I will receive it on, to, 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 on uh, October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or November, I don't remember uh, when they will pay me. I think it's the end of the month. So end of October, I will receive uh, the difference. And yeah, that's it. So as you can see on the screen, you have just a screenshot because right now we are September, September how much? Uh, 23th, uh, October 23, I mean. <laughs> and I don't want you to see how much I've earned uh, during October so far because I want to do another video to see if I reached my goal for October. And yeah, let's talk about the goals first after, before the keywords. Uh, my 2020 OnlyFans earning goals. Okay, so I will share them with you. I just came up with them. I didn't know whether I was able to reach them. I had no idea. I was new to the chat, to the uh, platform. I, I didn't know how it worked. I didn't have the networking. I was just following my guts. And on September, I wanted to earn 2K. On October, I wanted to earn 5K. On November, I wanted to earn 7,500. And on December, I should say, maybe the future, <laughs> I want to um, reach 10k. So, so far on September, I earned $2,218.75, which means I earned above 200 more uh, than what I was expecting. Now we'll see how it goes with October. I will share that with you on November and early November, so stay tuned for more. <laughs> Stay tuned to see whether or not I was able to reach my October goal. Um, yeah, 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 you will see. I, I can't tell you anything because the month is not even finished yet. So let's see. Uh, yeah, so you will be able to see how much I earned between um, when I was at 28.2 to above 40,000, so you will be able to see the difference. Now let's talk about the secret blog keywords. Well, obviously you have PayPal, uh, because OnlyFans want its commissions, and the other one was hypnotized. <laughs> okay, I it, it was really weird because I did this picture of me with my light blue eyes, you know, and I felt like I could call it t and title it get hypnotized by me or something like this or oh, hypnotizing you or something like this uh, just uh, like joking way right and yeah that's when i realized that the keyword was blocked and i was unable to post my content because of the keyword so i had to change the title and that was it so it was funny and that's why i uh, let you know i uh, that you know that was it the um, PayPal one, um, 
the DM will automatically not be sent to the recipient if you put it. So just be aware of that. You can, uh, however, pay off-site. So what I do for, for me, I, so I have a PayPal account for my company. Um, but right now, I prefer doing Amazon, Amazon uh, e-checks. However, for the Amazon e-checks, I realized maybe only my European fans will be able to use it because it needs to be in euro. Uh, if you give me an e-check uh, on Amazon.com with a US e-check, I would not be able to spend it on the French website. It would need to be spent on the American website. And I'm not in the US anymore. So um, I will not come back anytime soon since there is the pandemic. I will therefore... Uh, it, it will therefore not be possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you do any check, you can go on Amazon.f4. You have the link below. You just um, put the e-check, send it to ttvlogs and I will receive it. So yeah, that's usually what we do with some of my patrons. And also beware, guys. Beware. Because, oh my gosh, this video is getting out of control 30 minutes oh my goodness gracious um also guys when you email girls be very careful of what you say uh in the dm some of my fan there was one when i first started on fan that said me something very nasty and he was automatically deleted by his account what got deleted automatically by only fans okay there is there are also some of them who were asking for the content I sent in the DM and then right after they were um, deleted as well. D yeah, just be careful, be respectful and be respectful of the content creators, of the girls too. Um, we all do that so for fun, you know. And uh, we have, I think we love what we do and yeah, we do deserve respect, okay? So yeah. Okay, the video is finished after a long time talking to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I redid it and it ended up being so even more longer. Um, I don't know how I'm going to be able to upload this video here. Anyway, um, now you saw how much I earned in a month on September. And if you're eager to see how much I earned on October, then subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, okay? Next video is going to be a try on um, from Blooming X Girls from I Am Little Froggy. So, another Chinese influencer. I hope you will love them, uh, love all the you know stuff I bought from her. I'm waiting for tomorrow items. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait sharing them with you. They are so cute. I mean, they look so cute on the website. I didn't even open the packages yet because I really want to do it in front of you and show you all the clothes. So yeah, if you're eager to see if I reach my $5,000 goal for October, then keep on watching. Well, actually, turn on the notification bell. Subscribe, comment, like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so go on my only fans and register <laughs> okay I love you everybody good night if it's night time for you and good morning if it's the morning <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, that's pretty pathetic and go check out my blog you will have all the information in it with the graphs and all so you will have a recap if you were not able to take um notes don't worry it's written on my blog so go on there it took me a long time to do it so really <laughs> go on there have some fun and i hope it will help you if you're a if you wish to create your own channel if you're a girl for example who wish to uh, have her own only fans account i hope it would be inspirational for you and that my journey will help you through this time Voilà. And if you have any requests, just let me know in the comment section. Okay, so, enough talking now.